Hey guys, I wanted to share with you an SBC pump rebuild that I'm trying. A couple disclaimers. First of all, don't do this. You're taking apart and rebuilding the heart of your braking system. It's probably a really bad idea. So, just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you should. I absolutely recommend you do not do this. Okay, now that we're past that, here's what I did. First thing you're going to need is a five point Torx bit. Yes, this is five point. If you guys can see, try to get a close up of it here. It is not your standard Torx bit. There we go, that's about the best I can do. And I also apologize, this is my first YouTube video. Anyways, five point Torx. You're gonna have to probably special order this for about 10 or 15 bucks for a whole set. Right here, with the rail, on eBay. You can see these are all five point. These are the security bits too. You don't have to get the security bits, you don't need that. Um, empty area in the center but it doesn't hurt to have them I figure that way I'm covered either way if I ever need them. They're called Torx Tamper Proof uh, Plus I believe. 15 bucks on eBay. Then once you have that you can remove the top two screws on the SBC pump. Let me try to get a good shot of them. So you can see, there we go, they are five points, not six. And they are kind of tight to get out, but be careful, put pressure on from the top so you don't strip them, and you can unscrew them. Then. Get a set of these bad boys. I'm sure you've seen them a million times. Precision screwdrivers. Get a bunch of them. You're going to need two flat ones. Probably the big one and the smaller one. Start with the smaller one first. You're going to see right on the end here, you're going to work your way in this corner here and in this area. Or in this area. Basically start it with your finger and then tap it in with something hard like a hammer or I used the back of my ratchet and just tapped it until it was in there far enough that far enough that it would not fall out on its own pry on it a little just keep working at it you'll get it sooner or later once you start getting some leverage in there then you can get a bigger screwdriver in and you will get it open. I did not take a video of this, guys, sorry. I didn't even know if what I was doing was gonna work, so I wanted to do it first before I shot a video. Anyways, once you get this thing loose, and there's a magnet in there, here is the inside of your SBC pump. There are four brushes. Um, I have had this apart once already, and I have started kind of scoping out what it's going to take to replace these brushes. This is my SBC pump. I have another one that I got from a junkyard that I was going to try to replace mine with. It didn't work out. I was getting communication errors. Might have something to do with coding. It might be the wrong part number. So I just said, let me take this thing apart and see if I can replace the brushes. So this is what you will find. Um, I'm going to show you another one of these on the junkyard one that I started with. Uh, because Apparently there are some differences, and I'm not sure if that's because the part numbers were slightly different, 
if uh, and this this one I have from the junkyard might be for another vehicle I don't know um, but uh, or it could be a newer one I think it is newer and it might be one of the ones that have replaced the one that's in my vehicle so let me show you one that appears to be newer same thing here I did the same exact thing to get it open and there's a magnet in the top of these here so once you've got it loose it's still gonna fight you a little bit but you can see in here which appears to be a newer version the brushes are bigger and beefier compared to the ones in mine. So I'm kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to figure out what it was going to take to get this to work on my vehicle, but either way, if I replace these brushes, it should be fine. So be very gentle when you're popping these things apart. Um, I'm going to try to do this with the camera on it so you guys can see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I actually took this apart already once. Now, I'm going to pause the video here for a second, guys. And basically, what you want to do is you gently separate this area here. You can see it separates, but at the same time you're doing that one, you got to do the other side. Well, maybe I can do this for you on the video. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do, guys, because that's actually broken now. Um, let me show you one that's not broken. I'm not super worried about it because it has little clips to catch on, but I really wish, I really wanted to keep that in one piece. Let me show you one I took apart already. And you can see here, on this one, This one, no, that doesn't help. Uh, let's see here. If I pop this up with the screwdriver. guys well at the bottom of this thing it is actually attached so let's try to get one here that you can see better well I don't want to break anything else guys but basically it's a little flap and it's attached at the bottom so all you want to do is get that top part released like you see it and then the screw the uh, spring will pop out and try not to let it go flying like mine did i'm gonna have to find that now but once you do that then you can get to the brush and you will see in mine the brush is actually much smaller than the newer one 
probably half the size. So that's the difference between the two of them. The uh, newer version versus the older version. Now the next step here basically is to cut these brushes free, measure them, and order new ones. So I've got these little clippers here. I'm going to cut as close as possible to the magnet side or the metal side of the brush because I want to leave myself enough free. And here's the brush. I want to leave myself enough free that I have room to solder new brush in. So I'm going to put this next to the newer version. And you can see the size difference, maybe. So there you go, that's a good example. There's definitely a, a significant size difference there between the two, the earlier and the later version of the pumps. Anyways, um, the next thing here is, like I said, there's four brushes. You just saw me cut one of them free. Uh, these aren't the easiest to get to, guys. Um, I'm going to cut them all free as close as possible to, as you can see, I didn't leave much, much of a tail on this. I want to cut it as close as possible to the brush so that I have plenty of free uh, copper there to solder to when I've got my new brushes. So the next step is guys, uh, I'm going to cut the other three of them free as close as I can. I'm going to order, I'm going to measure these brushes, basically just measure the height and the width and lengthwise I would just go for twice as long as this what you can do is just sand them down shorter if they're too long you sand them down shorter um, and we'll see what happens I'll do another video once I have brushes soldered in and see you guys next time bye